Kenyan Outpost, Mask of the Red Death versus Romp Frolic. Um, really want to see Mask sort of taking the initiative, being more aggressive. Um, we shall see, though. We shall see. Um, We have a very large map, though, so this could very easily go to late game. Um, let's see what each of the players doing. Rob Frolic taking full advantage of his two production queues to get both his uh, his uh, resource nodes fully saturated. Meanwhile, we have Mask, who's focusing on getting as much CU income as, excuse me, humanly possible. Uh, Romper now moving out. One on IUs, an extra one on CUs. Uh, no, that's a pretty good, pretty good scanner placement. Um, part of me would say I would prefer it out there, but I think there is better for the most part. I mean, I'd like it closer, somewhere along the edge here, uh, just so you can see when things are coming into that bottleneck. They've got to go to there. I suppose you can still see him once they're about halfway across the bridge, so you, you know what's going on. Um, so you know if you're getting flanked along there. Mm. Run frolic game, skimmers out early. And again, another. There's just very little point. I mean. Now, I suppose by all rights, Mask has then managed to discover that this production cruiser is coming out and knows she's getting rushed. So I'm expecting to see her pull back and put a turret down. So maybe move to here and put a turret up here. No, she's trying to get back to her LAVs. That makes sense. Uh, three skimmers out, two, four LAVs. Um, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, any upgrades going on? No. Uh, Romper is trying to get a second production cruiser out. Wants to increase his production and put himself ahead early game by the looks of things. Um, yeah. Good number of LAVs. Romper, more on top of his, uh, well, on top of his micro here, managing to keep that skimmer alive. And using some high ground here. So there is enough of a difference in the terrain here that that was high ground there. So Same here, I expect. That should be high ground first see if you can come onto them. So, yeah. Definitely something that uh, Romp could take advantage of. But so could Mask. Need to turn around. Can't just dive in on that. Six versus eight. So, uh, Romper, how hard did you laugh when that happened? Uh, kind of hoping that Mask has teched AV tech still not there yet. So we'll see. Uh, still no turret down here. There's only four AVs, so these skimmers can very easily overwhelm them right now. Um, And Mask really needs that AV tech now. Uh, and Romper just picked up his first artifact as well. And why? Hmm. Yeah, I know, it's very bad of me. Unfortunately, I had trouble with my PC about a week or so ago, and I have not been able to sort the mod out since. But we'll live. We'll live. Um, and AV Tech has just been researched. 
conceal my carrier, so it's, it's not the end of the world. Hmm. I get the feeling I've seen this once already. Uh, so, masks, LAVs getting mopped up again by these skimmers. I'm not sure why Romper's even pulling back. Romper could have gone in here and killed Eco by now. There, there is no reason. Like, he can see how much of an advantage he has. I don't know why he's being so careful, I suppose. He, he has had... He's taken some great fights. Units lost. Yeah. 16 to 4. Um, go face. Uh, and the upgrades. Oh my. Um, yeah. Go kill the eco. Ignore the AAVs entirely. Or actually, you could just focus that one down. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Don't get it. Why? You've taken two amazing fights and now. Yeah. Opportunity lost. So busy. Yeah. Coming around here just lost you so much time. You just come straight in. You could have plowed through the LAVs, knocked out the logistics modules, which would have screwed over um, mask production. But uh, the opportunity is gone um, because Coalition has such good build times. This kind of thing can happen where you just, you just lose the edge. Um, you don't want to take this fight. Come on, out. Get out. Now you get out because th there's nothing to gain by fighting this. Um, get some good pickups on the kills there. There are the assault rails there, but again, that rail gun at the back is going to be a problem. Yeah, rail gun. These production cruisers need to keep moving. Yeah, with that one rail gone, those assault rails are going to be able to do a lot of damage. Is that more coming out right there? There is armor, so again, these, these AAVs will struggle against the assault rails. But placed there, there's incredible risk of getting overrun. This is pretty ballsy. Uh, why is that assault rail gun not firing? Why is it facing the wrong way? What the hell? Oh, it's trying to target an armored assault over here, so it's not actually targeting the IVs. Um, fortunately, Mask seems to be struggling with the placements here, and is just kind of milling around in the midst of all of this. Right. Mask, if you see this, stop using F2 because this it's it's a detriment to you at this point. You, you are overusing F2 to control your entire army. I'm fine with using F2 to get your entire army and gather it up, but to use it for every single military move is bad. You could have cleaned up these assault rails here. You wouldn't have lost rail guns moving out across the middle here because they wouldn't have been targeting stuff that was out of their range. I mean, stop pressing F2 and then telling your entire army to attack a single target. It's not good for you. Um, one good way of getting around this could be hit F2 and then give an attack move. Uh, you know, hit the A key and then right click somewhere, and then your units will reset their target priority. It would help you immensely. Um, but yeah, just I want to put this down to mask being out of practice, but god damn, it's painful to watch at the moment because there's no reason for these AAVs to be out here with this level health, like eight HP, and what's what's the rank on this? It's a rank three. Uh, it it would be a complete waste to let these two veteran. AVs just die. 
all they've got to do is go back to the carrier, put the repair beams on, and bam. Get them healthy again, much more value. Please, no. <sighs> These are not trades that Mask can afford to be making. You know, look at the difference in costs here. And Mask is not expanding like Romper is. This this is not tenable. Right, so Romper is now running a rails and air mix. Um, but it looks like Romper is also looking at mobilizing his carrier. So this could get very scary for Mask very quickly, especially now that uh, Mask is running strike fighters. Those... Oh, well, let's, uh... This is why strike fighters need support against interceptors. Fortunately, those interceptors don't have upgrades yet, but, uh... Yeah. I don't think you're getting away. Uh-huh. Catch some mad air. Yeah, it's... You know, it's... I really do feel like that the strength I have seen in Mask's previous play is when she has been able to play around um, artillery, um, and using uh, army composition to make that artillery spam safe. Um, you know, but when she's being pressured like this, her her style of death ball works entirely against her. Um, and I don't think she's got... Oh, no, please... So, this is more of this piecemeal problem. So, four, four LAVs over here are going to get completely swamped, killed by skimmers, score no kills, skimmers fully heal, and then eat another chunk of Mask's forces piecemeal. You cannot give long-range moves through enemies like this. It is suicide. This is literal suicide. This is just throwing away units. Um, so, Mask, again, if you are watching this, you cannot... Like, yeah, that's that's end of game there, but this isn't going to stop... You, you aren't getting 3,350 damage on that base runner throwing away units. 